Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli and in this video you are going to learn to set up an amazing automation which is designed and created to streamline and fast pace your internal communication while recruiting right candidates for your company. Okay, so let me show you how it is going to work. So the flow of this automation that we are about to set up is going to look like this. Here we have taken the example of Recruity application which is a collaborative hiring tool for HRs and recruitment teams and here you can list your uh, here you can publish a job from this application you can publish a job on many career websites and also you can unpublish a job from all those career websites from Recruity only. So as and when you are going to unpublish a job, that means you are closing that job opening from the many career websites, a message will be delivered to your team telling them that the job opening is closed now in your Slack channel automatically. Okay. So many companies use Slack as an internal communication channel. So as and when you are going to unpublish a job, a message will be delivered to your team automatically. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect which is an integration and automation tool. So this automation is going to uh, save a lot of your manual efforts and time as well, uh, which you have to spend on uh, manually typing the messages for your team for anything that you are doing on recruit day application. Okay. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any kind of coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account. So guys, for this, you can check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. So after setting up your free account, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. Okay. And on this page, guys, you have to start working by creating a workflow of automation. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So here I have given the name to this workflow as on unpublishing a job on recruity send message on Slack automatically. Okay, now you can click here on this create button. And you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay, and on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger this workflow, okay, or trigger this automation. And the action is the response towards that trigger. Okay. So as in our use case, the trigger would be unpublishing a job on recruiting. And the action towards that trigger would be to send a message on Slack to your team that this job is unpublished and closed. Okay. So first of all, uh, you have to set up this trigger. So from this trigger section, choose your trigger application first from this choose app field. So you can type here recruity. Okay, this is it. And select it. This is our trigger application. And our trigger event is unpublishing a job. So here you have to select this one, this option job is unpublished. So this will trigger this workflow when a job is unpublished or archived. Okay. And it will give you this uh, URL. This is called as a web hook URL guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pavli connect. So with the help of this, we are going to connect recruity. So here you can follow these instructions written here to make this connection. Let me show you how you can do this. So first of all, you have to copy this web hook URL from here like this. Then reach the dashboard of Recruity. This is my Recruity's dashboard. And here I'm going to uh, click on this settings icon on this bottom left hand side. Okay. And under this panel, when you scroll down uh, here, you will find this apps and plugins option. And under this apps and plugins, you will find this webhooks tab. Click on webhooks. Okay. And here you have to click on this add, uh, sorry, new webhook button. Click on new webhook. And here you can give uh, any name to this webhook setup. So I'm giving the name as to select team. So you can give any relevant name. And here in this post uh, URL, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got here in Pabli Connect. So just copy this and paste this URL here in this post URL field like this. Okay. And then you have to select, uh, to, then you have to check this box you can see here job unpublished. Okay, so check this box, then click on verify and create. 
Okay, so we are done setting up this webhook. Now, as and when you unpublish a job here in Recruity, the data of that unpublished job will be delivered here in this response received section in Pabli Connect, where you where you are uh, you can see here this test label. Okay, let me show you. Just click here on this recapture webhook response. Click on yes, and it will start showing this waiting for the webhook response. So this means now you have to do a test submission. So our test submission would be unpublishing a job from Recruity. And as and when you will unpublish, the date of that unpublished job will be here in Pabli Connect. Let me show you. So I'm going back uh, in my Recruity's job section. So these are the jobs you can see we have listed on a various career website. First one is HR executive. Another one is related to digital marketing. Okay. So let me unpublish this one. So I'm clicking on uh, close for new candidates option. So I'm closing this job. Okay, confirm. And you can see this job is closed for new candidates now. Okay. Now let me show you in Pabli Connect if we got the data of uh, this job. And here you can see the data of that job got getting unpublished here like this. Okay. So you can see here the department's name the job title. Okay, so this is how we can capture the data. Now, I want to inform my team which is present here on Slack channel that one of our job which was previously published on very uh, various career websites is now closed. Okay. And to do that, you have to connect your Slack channel here in this action step. So from here, from this uh, choose app field in the action step, you have to search for Slack. This is Slack. Okay, and in the trigger event, you have to select send channel message option. Okay, or you can, uh, if you want to uh, send an image, you can use this send direct message with image, without image. You can follow, uh, you can see, you can send a message to your existing channel with link unfurl support, with markdown. So, we have many action events here. I am using send channel message simply. Okay, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Slack. Okay, so here it will ask for the token type. So enter the token type as either a user or a bot. So guys, if you want a bot should deliver a message for you uh, to your team here in Slack, you can use bot option. Or if you want that uh, message will be delivered by user side, you can use user here. Okay. So these are the two options. So uh, I am selecting user here. So you can just copy this user and paste the token type as user and click on save. And then from this window, you have to log in if you're not logged in in Slack. As I have already logged in, it is asking me uh, uh, some permissions actually. Okay, so you have to allow these permissions. Click on allow and you will be connected with Slack in a few moments. You can see we are now connected. Now you can select the channels that you have in Slack, uh, Slack application. So here I have all these channels and I'm using this general channel to send the message to my team. Okay. So I'm selecting general, right? Now it is asking for the message that you want to send to your team. So here, let me type the message. So I have written the message for my team as this. Hey team, a job opening for uh, dash is closed on recruity. The department is dash happy hiring. Okay. So here between these spaces, I am going to map the data that I have received about the job application getting closed in the first step. Okay. So here we have received the data of the job application job opening that was closed. Here you can see we have the department name and the title of the job. So I'm going to map this data here in this message. So here after this, a job opening for here when you click you will find uh, this recruity option, this recruity step in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data that you have already received in the first step. So from here only, you can map uh, the title of the job, which is this. Okay. And here after this department, here I'm going to map the data about the department which we got here in this first step. This is the department. Okay. Right. And here it is asking for the image the bot name. So uh, we are not sending any image. So I'm going to leave these things blank. And we are not using any bot. So I'm 
leaving the bot name and the icon also blank and we are not sending any links so it it, it will show you these uh, customized options to customize your messages or if you want to send an image or uh, anything like that so if you want to link some usernames you can make it true or false if you want to reply broadcast you can use all these options here but right now i am leaving these uh, things as it is i just want to send a simple message to my team now okay so here is my team working on this uh, general channel okay so i want to send this message here so i'm going to click on save and send test request and we can test if this message is getting delivered or on slack channel or not so i'm clicking on save and send test request here and here you can see in this response receive section we got this type of response uh, so let me show you the channel i have in slack if we receive a new message and here you can see we got a new message here a team a job opening for hr executive is closed on recruity the department is human resources so this is the same message that i have uh, typed and mapped the values of here okay and we are done setting up this automation so when you map the data like this what will happen in real time whenever you close any job this data is going to change accordingly i can show you a real time example so guys you have to set up this automation only once once you made the uh, actions uh, the trigger and action once you set up the trigger and action thing and make the connection map the data here you are done after that you don't have to look even look at it at this workflow after that as and when you close a job on recruity a message will be delivered automatically let me show you so this is my recruity application and i am closing this job also okay i'm closing this job also you can see this job is closed now i am going to show you directly in slack channel if we have received a new message for this job closure or not and here you can see the message is this now a job opening for digital marketing is closed on recruity the department was is marketing so this data is changed you can see uh, firstly in the message was hr executive now it is digital marketing and the department is also changed so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up the automation let me give you a quick recap what i have done here so first of all in the trigger i connected recruity and with the help of this url we made the connection and received the data of a job getting closed on recruity or unpublished on recruity after that in the action step i connected slack and map the type the message and map the data and we are done we have seen that that our connection was working properly and guys the good part is you can use this same workflow that, that i have just created because i am going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel